I want you to hit the like button if you are sick of to death of hitting this shot. Because if I kept hitting that every time I play golf, I know that I would be off. Now, the reason that happened, today's lesson, we're going to cover why you are topping or thinning your irons or even your woods. So let's get straight into that lesson now, guys. So if I play back that, less, uh, that swing there for you in slow motion, obviously, we're going to see that beautiful little top there where I think I caught about one dimple. Um, what we might notice is something is changing throughout the golf swing because as I stand to the golf ball now, if I were just to pop another one in here, I've set some parameters up now. I'm stood X amount of distance away from the golf ball. I've decided my height is a, is a certain distance and also my hands have got a certain distance from my chest and also I've set the club to the ground. I've not started with the club up in the air here. I'm not pushing it down so it's almost going down below the golf ball. I'm setting it to the point where I pretty much want to return back to this point. Only difference is the impact's going to look a little bit different with my iron. I'm not going to return to basically where I'm stood at address, which some of you do do, which is an issue. But I'm going to change a few things. And the big thing that I'm talking about today is the width of our golf swing. So if you don't know what I mean by the width of the golf swing, what I'm talking about now, if you imagine as I swing the golf club, as I work this golf club around my body, it moves in a circular motion. So it goes up here, comes back down, I hit it, and then it tracks back round as my body turns. So it's working in this big arc around my body. Now, what I see from a lot of players and the reason why I actually hit that shot then is because the width of our arc is changing. So if we change the width of the arc, the ball would have to move for us to actually get a good contact because that ball's only moving when we actually collide at impact. So if we change some of the parameters as we make a golf swing, it makes sense that we're not going to be making great contact all the time. So what we've got to try and do is maintain these parameters and obviously move our body accordingly to how we actually want to hit the golf ball, but still maintaining that that circle, that arc that we create is kept the same so we can actually get ball then turf contact and get rid of those horrible fat thin and topped golf shots. So here's a little drill that I like to do with my students. Unfortunately, I've not got my bungee cords with me, I've left those at uh, the range. But what I like to do here with some of my students, we've all probably got a bag towel on our bags, probably cleaner than mine as well. What I want you to do, you're going to take your bag towel, you're going to take your lead hand, so for me as a right-handed golfer, my left hand. I'm now going to place it into my sternum. You're going to see that it's here, I'm going to place it in. Then I'm going to imagine taking my golf posture. So I'm in, I'm good, I'm taking my golf posture. Then what I want you to do is just imagine at the end of the towel now or where you would grip the golf club you're just going to get hold of the towel at that point so if I was holding my golf club it would be here now in that first swing as I went through what would actually happen is as I'd make my back swing I'd see it come up to here as I come down into impact that towel would really slacken off so I'd almost pull my lead hand up here sorry my trail hand I pull my trail hand up this way and you'd see that there's no actual tightness no tugging in the towel there there's no stretch in it so what that would then do is change that width of the arc it would bring that bottom of the circle now up above the golf ball hence why it's still only two yards in front of me there so the drill I want you to do is you're going to place it back into where your sternum would be and again take your trail hand and place that to where you would think roughly where your grip would be where your right hand would be on your grip then you're going to make your golf swing turn back up to the top it'll feel a little bit tighter and constricted than normal but then as you come down you're going to try and stretch that right hand as far as you can and you'll feel a real tightness on the towel now you'll feel it really getting stretched and notice as i do this my hand is pretty much returning back to where it was at the start so i'm here at the start there is impact my body turns and I've kept this width now. So as I come down with my weight shifting forwards and me keeping the same width of arc, I'm gonna to start to actually 
get a great strike on it. I'm not going to see that I'm back up, no stretch, very loose and getting topped in thin golf shots. We want to swing up, take the towel, crush it. Let's see that we can crush it. Let's get that stretch going. Really feel it, and you can probably hear it in my voice. You want to feel that you're really trying to rip it out of your lead hand with your trail hand as you get down to impact. So see that you get this going on instead of this as we start to go through it. So once you've had a few of those and you're feeling pretty confident with it, let me just peg this up here. I don't want to destroy this beautiful golf tee down here at Warrington Golf Club. We want to see now. Once I've done that, I'm going to have some and I'm going to feel the same. I can really feel that stretch between the chest here, my sternum and my hands. I'm going to keep that width the same. It's going to feel really powerful that instead of flimsy, horrible, topped golf shot. So once you're into it, once you've had a few of the stretch there with the towel and feeling that you've got it, Feeling that those hands are now keeping the same width as you come down. Let's get in and actually hit one and see that it went better than that monstrosity that I hit at the start of the video. So good setup. Keep the width the same as I come down. Let's see that I can get that as we go through. Good goal swing. Oh, love that. Need to do that drill more often absolutely crushed there you can see just the tiniest divot after where the ball was sounded great got up in the air did everything it was supposed to do so if you are someone who is really struggling with topped and thin golf shots this is the drill for you get down there get a towel and see that you're keeping that stretch see that you're actually getting into a good wide arc position and what you should notice as well it be into the finish you want to feel nice and extended here. You don't want to feel that you've pulled your arms into your side and you feel very chicken wingy. You actually want to feel wide to wide to almost feeling even wider as you go through to know that you've kept that width of your arc the same and that you're crushing that golf ball as you get through, not wide to narrow to topped and thinned because if you play golf like that, it's not enjoyable. I know it's not. I've been there and I've done it. So guys give that go a drill see that we can get the wide golf swing keep that width of the arc the same and start crushing your golf shots guys i hope you've enjoyed this lesson this week if you have done do remember to hit the like button hit that subscribe button as well so you don't miss any future lessons with me your coach matt fryer and i'll see you in the next lesson thanks for watching that was so good that one i loved it